Hey guys, it's Julia Lee for Click On This Show, and we are here with Megan Davies, a musician who uh, just performed a beautiful song for us. Can you tell us more about the song, It Doesn't Matter? So It Doesn't Matter uh, was actually written probably a, a year and a half ago. It was, it was a while back, and I had only really been playing it live, and I was getting a lot of really great feedback about it. Uh, when I finally finished up this last tour I had in the winter time, I was pretty determined to get it recorded and get it out there because I was getting just a lot of people coming up to me and telling me how much uh, they felt like their story related to it. So it was kind of special in that way. It, it matters, it matters until it doesn't yeah. matter anymore. Right. It just like really hit home for me personally. Yeah, it's, it's a story I think a lot of people share where, you know, things when you're younger that seem so important um, as you get older become less. So. And you just had the music video come out for it, and it, it is amazing. Can you tell us about the story? The, it's so funny because, um, well, the music video is the first time I've ever worked on a music video before. Everything else has been very sort of performance music video-like on YouTube. And um, I, I had a director uh, that I reached out to. His name is Patrick Mason, um, and I really loved his work. So the story of the pool was actually his idea and how he related to the song, um, which is just an example of how, like, people you know have different stories that they can put into the song and, and it still works um, you know I was singing in the back of a car because that was you know the story I sang about but um, it was you know it was, it was kind of cool to see a whole nother story play out to the song and the kids that we casted were just so great and yeah it was it was really fun to put it together so you have 1.3 million subscribers on YouTube. Can you tell us about your YouTube journey and how it started, you know, making these songs and, and what your intention was at the time when you started and if it's changed, you know, tell us about this journey. I was in Nashville um, and I have a lot of uh, musician friends in Nashville and it and my sister sings as well. So it was just kind of a fun side project. It really, I wasn't expecting uh, to become a YouTuber by any means, um, but it was really fun. To, it was a good excuse to make music with my friends, and um, doing covers was just, you know, like a fun little thing we were doing, and um, it ended up taking off, and I'm definitely grateful for that, um, but I would have never um, guessed that it, people would have reacted in the way that they did. Yeah, I mean, I 1.3 million, that's that's amazing. Yeah. So congratulations. Mm -hmm. um, I, I was looking at your YouTube channel and I saw that you were doing covers and mashups. How do you choose the songs that you decide to do the covers for? Um, a lot of times it's, you know, songs that are popular on the radio right now. Some of our mashups are taking two songs that are popular and it's just kind of fun to, to mix it up. I'm just kind of like my own taste and, my, you know, what, what I feel like jamming with. It's not as uh, strategic as I think it possibly could be, but you know, that, that would take the fun out of it. So. Yeah. What are the top three musicians that, that you're currently into? Um, I really love Shawn Mendes' new record. Um, and I also love John Mayer's new single. I've been listening to that a ton. And um, honestly, I really like Post Malone too. That's a good blend. If you could collaborate with one artist right now, who would it be? Ed Sheeran would be really cool, I think. Um, or John Mayer. It would just be fun to just jam with him in a room. <laughs> yeah. Like, I wouldn't even have to release any music. I'd just, like, love to play guitar with him. I think it'd be really cool. Nice. So where where do you draw your inspiration from your music? I mean, this current song is, is about anti-bullying. Mm -hmm. um, is that something that maybe you've personally dealt with? Or, or where do you draw the inspiration from? You know, yeah, it's, it's definitely a lot of my own experiences um, and also you know when I write music um, sometimes like the guitar chords or something will sort of invoke an emotion on their own and, and it's kind of like up to me as the writer to 
you know, figure out the story that you know, it feels like the music is trying to tell and, and put it to words. And it's funny, sometimes when I write songs, I feel like I'm, you know, not writing about myself and then it'll turn out to be completely about myself. So it's weird how the subconscious works in yeah. that way. So you you live in Tennessee, but you're here in LA right now. Can you tell us what you have planned here and, and what's, what do you ha- what's next for you? So I'm um, working on some new music out here, which is really exciting. Um, you know, I come out here periodically to, to work on some new music. It's just kind of a different feel out here. And I, I think, um, you know, what I write out here is just a little different than what I write back in Nashville. So it's kind of fun to switch it up sometimes. You know, also talking about the single a bunch, um, you know, trying to get the word out about about the song and its message and those, those are kind of the main things that I'm out here for and then I'll go back to Nashville and do a lot of the same. Nice. Yeah. I saw that you performed for the cast of The Greatest Showman mm-hmm. and you know you've done a lot of other, you've, you've done a lot of work for like the American Cancer Society. How does it feel? So The Greatest Showman was definitely the biggest um, people I've worked with like as far as celebrity goes. Um, but that opportunity opportunity was like incredible. I, you know, I learned a lot, and um, I was able to perform for the cast and um, meet the cast, and they were so encouraging. And got to go to the premiere, which was amazing. Um, but I'm not gonna lie, I was terrified the entire time. Um, and then things like you know the American Cancer Society and the Red Cross. That's super easy for me, just because you know that's stuff I believe in and supporting. So yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely fun to be able to use the platform for, for cool things like that. So do you think uh, your music style, that you've defined your music style, or that it's, it's something that's always changing, and what direction do you see it going in? I think it evolves. I think as like you get older and you get, I, I, I do like to think that it gets better or more refined and your tastes get you know, they change. You know, so I hope it's moving in a better direction. Um, but yeah, I, I, I do think it, it's changed. I started experimenting a little bit more with like instruments and like putting honestly more tracks on my songs. I mean, just a few years ago, everything I did was just me and my guitar, which is still a large part of what I do, but it's definitely fun to sort of experiment with other uh, production styles. What kind of instruments are they? I play around on piano quite a bit now. I have a bass guitar I like to play with. Um, and just learning, I mean, drums even. We've been playing around with adding like beats and, and drums and it's, it's kind of fun to, to play with that, so. Nice. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for taking time to sit with us. We'll let you go back to the studio <laughs> and, and finish up your recordings. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah. It's a blast. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Megan Davies, I'm Julia Lee, and this is Click On This Show. And this is my original song.
trying 